Welcome, boys and girls. Today, we will be practicing our three times tables using the skip counting strategy. So get ready to sing along. Remember that by the end of third grade, you are expected to know your multiplication facts one through nine. Today, we will focus on using skip counting as one of the strategies to practice our three times table. So let's get into it. With this strategy, we will be using our fingers to guide us along in finding the product of two factors. We will assign each finger a number counting from left to right. As we can see in this picture, the pinky on the left is one, ring finger two, middle finger three, pointer finger four, thumb five, thumb on the right six, followed by seven, eight, nine, and 10. Keep in mind that since this skip counting song focuses on factors one through nine only, we won't be using the 10th pinky finger. Now it's time to learn the song. I have included the multiplication chart as a reference. So you'll be able to follow along as I skip count, but eventually you'll have to learn the order because I won't be including this multiplication chart each time. So take your time and replay this section as often as necessary until you get comfortable with it. All right now, like all professional singers, before we sing, we must clear our throat. <clears throat> now let's begin. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty one, twenty four, twenty seven. Again, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty one, twenty four, twenty seven. Whoo, almost ran out of breath there, but we made it to the end. Keep in mind, it might take some time to learn the song, but once you learn it, you'll see how it'll help you in solving your multiplication facts. So now let's take a look at how we can use this song in helping us solve multiplication problems. So here's our first problem, three times six. Let's use the skip counting song to help us out. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18. Notice that I stopped singing the skip counting song once I reached the sixth finger since I'm skip counting by threes, I'm going to keep counting by threes until I get to the sixth finger. So therefore, I know that six times three is 18. For our next problem, we will solve three times four. Keeping in mind, since we're skip counting by threes, we're going to stop at our fourth finger. So let's begin. Three, six, nine, 12, stopping at 12. So therefore, I know that three times four equals 12. Next, we're going to be multiplying three times eight. Keep in mind, we're gonna stop at the eighth finger and whatever number we land on when we reach the eighth finger will be the product. So let's begin. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. I stop at the eighth finger and I land on 24. Therefore, I know that three times eight equals 24. Now we're ready to multiply three times five. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27. Did you stop at the correct number? Let's check it out. Three, six, nine, 12, 15. You should have stopped at the fifth finger because we're skip counting by three, five times. Therefore, we know that three times five is 15. For our last problem, we will be multiplying three times nine. Now I want you to try the skip counting song on your own to see if you'll end up at the correct answer. Okay, now let's check. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27. Did you land on 27? If you did, you're correct. Therefore, we know that three times nine equals 27. Good job. But keep in mind, it doesn't stop there. You must keep practicing. So let's sing it one more time before we end. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27. Make sure to look out for part two where we will be skip counting by fours. Till next time, take care.